I'll put up uh, the paper from the last uh, court thing. This is intactivism. In case I forget to mention it in the title of the video, we had a hearing, Sarasota case, on the um, on my motion for default judgment because the defendant just didn't respond. And um, then when they got that paper, they did respond, objecting to it. Well, we had a hearing, and um, the judge would not allow, which is typical, would not allow the default judgment because they prefer to have cases tried on their merit. A guy, I hope they did not redefine the word merit because the next thing that the, or even that morning, the defendant said, well, we want a motion to dismiss. I said, well, you thought you just said you wanted to try, try, try the case on its merits. And um, so the judge handed it off to the magistrate and um, we're, uh, we're now scheduling process of scheduling a hearing on the defendant's motion to dismiss, which I objected to. And I'll post that document uh, in the um, description field of this YouTube video. So we got that one in Sarasota. And I hope that comes up soon. Um, it's a weird thing because I really don't know what they mean by merit. It's like, what, what do you mean by prejudice? <laughs> You're dismissing a case with prejudice. This is another one. Why are you, why are you prejudiced? You're not supposed to be prejudiced. <laughs> Uh, so that gets back to merit, and they, they all got all these excuses about immunity, three kinds of immunity for the uh, defendant, who was a state attorney. And I said, well, wait a minute. <laughs> You're uh, going over the top there. You, you, if you haven't defeated the rule of law, then there's uh, what you're doing is diametrically opposed to to the rule of law, this standing guard for violence against children. So in the uh, Scambia First Circuit, that's Pensacola, Florida, Scambia County, um, we're also, oh, they said that the judge was going to decide on the motion to dismiss, the defendant's motion to dismiss, based on the papers we've sent in. And uh, that's not going to happen until on or after January 1st because there was changing roles for the judges up there, moving one from civil to criminal and one from someplace else into civil. So there's those two cases are the same. And the third case, those are both constitutional challenges, by the way. No, no money, I'm not seeking any money. And, um, or even a jury trial, I asked for a bench trial and um, the third case was I was seeking a hundred million dollars, I think it was, uh, and that was suing under the tort of uh, intentional infliction of emotional distri distress. And I'll post a link to the video that uh, you might also find distressing. It's on my website, uh, broadfork.com. And um, so that one's in the hands of the uh, appellate court fifth district the the case was in the fifth circuit but just coincidence that the appellate court is the fifth district of florida and um so that's it i'll post those documents yeah thank you the top came off that tree during one of those hurricanes that came by <laughs> 